add big commas order details to microsoft power bi automatically so assume that a new order is just received in your big commas store so here i will show you how to add the order details to the table of power bi and create the interactive report of your order and do the tracking very efficiently so if you also want to sync the order data with the microsoft power bi in real time then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of big commerce and this is my e-commerce store and in front of you i will place some random order and you will see how the order details will be added to the report of power bi and to automate this process firstly i will have to build an integration in my big commerce store and in power bi application which i am going to do with the help of software called as pabbi connect which is an integration and automation software I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in you can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide a random name to your workflow to your automation So I have directly pasted the name as add big commerce order details to Microsoft Power BI. Okay, now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes. So these boxes are called as trigger and action. And here the trigger means when this happens, an action means do this. So whenever something happen in the first application, then automatically do this in the next application. So this is how you need to always choose the applications in this trigger and the action window. in which you are building an automation so according to our use case we want that whenever any new order is placed in our big commerce application then automatically add the order details into our microsoft power bi application okay so i have selected both the applications in the trigger and the action window and now the idea here is firstly i will connect to big commerce with pabli connect and will capture the order related details here so that is why i am selecting this new order created trigger event and when i have the order data then i will connect to microsoft power bi with the pabli connect and will send the order details to this application okay so in this way i am going to automate this process so let us connect to big commerce with the pabli connect so clicking on connect clicking on add new connection for the connection it is asking for the client id access token and the store hash key okay so firstly you will have to read these instructions carefully and if you are already logged in in your big commerce store you can directly click on this advanced setting option and from here exactly we will create a new api key account okay so firstly it will ask you to select the token type which is going to be v2/v3 api token then it will ask you to provide the random name okay so let me provide a name something like connection with the pabli and after that you will have to enable the following things which are mentioned here like you will have to enable this content customers information settings marketing orders and products okay so let me do the same here i have enabled this modified section the customer section also i have clicked on modified then information and settings then marketing then orders and let me cross check it once again and products as well okay so i have enabled all the things the only thing left is this product okay so i have enabled i have modified basically i have changed the setting from none to modify here now i will click on the save button and this is how a new api key will be generated the token will be generated and from here you can copy the api key i'm sorry you can copy the client id first okay so let me copy the same and paste the client id here asking for access token so here we have the access token let me copy and paste the same and lastly it is asking for store hash key okay so you can actually get the store hash key from this url okay so this is my store hash key and last thing i am pasting it here clicking on save and this is how my big commerce account will be immediately connected with the pabli connect okay now you will have to click on the save and send test request button and you will notice that it will start waiting for for the response okay so basically it is asking that once you have clicked over the save and send request button then do a test submission record in that application in order to capture the response here okay so basically it is asking
asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new order in our big commerce store okay so my store is already open now i will place a dummy order in front of you okay so assume that i have this mobile phone which is of 7500 rupees okay now i will place a dummy order with the testing details okay so give me a second clicking on this continue shopping i'm sorry i will click on this add to cart firstly okay currently i have two values basically two phones so i have changed it as one clicking on this checkout button and now it will ask me the details of the person okay so give me a second let me fill all the details one by one so here I have provided the customer email as demo user 54321 at pablitudes.com and again this is just a dummy email address. I have also provided the shipping details like the first name, the random phone number, city, state and lot of other details. Now with the test payment provider I am going to make a dummy payment okay. So let me provide some random CVV clicking on this place order and as soon as the order is successful here here you will notice that these order details will be captured via Pabli Connect instantly. Okay, so coming back to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, and here you can notice the response is already received. Okay, now if I will show you the details one by one, here you will find that we have received the order ID, which is data ID, and have received the store ID, the scope, producer, and the hash key. We actually do not have received any order related data okay so basically with the help of this data id we are going to fetch the information related to order okay how you will have to click on this plus icon before your microsoft power bi application and search for big commerce once again okay so i have selected the same and once again i am going to connect it with the pabli connect and firstly i will select the action event that is get the details of order with the help of order id Okay, uh, let me show you what other action event I have. Okay, so I have this get customer by ID, get order by ID, get product by order ID. Okay, so I would like to fetch the order details with the help of order ID. So I am going with the same clicking on connect, and now instead of providing the new connection. I will go with the existing connection because I have already connected my big commerce as a trigger application here okay so clicking on save and this will be connected immediately once again okay so it is asking for the order ID so instead of manually copying this order ID and pasting here again and again on every new order I am going to map that ID okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the same data the above data here in the drop down okay now i will select this data and this is how the order id will be mapped now as soon as i click on this button you will notice that the details of order will be received as a response so here you can notice the response is already received now i'll show you the details one by one so here we have the date here we have the id the customer id and now i'll show you everything okay so here we have the same amount of the product okay and here we also have the payment method as test payment provider and we have the currency as well and the customer details as well like the first name last name company city state pin code every other detail okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our big commerce store and Pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new new order is created in our big commerce store firstly the details will be captured via Pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time and then further the next step will be executed basically with the help of that order id the details of order will be received here as a response and once we have this order related data we can now easily send this data to different applications 
applications like Microsoft Power BI. Okay, so in this way, the first step of our automation is done. Moving further, now I will connect a Microsoft Power BI with Pabli Connect. So firstly, I will select the action event that is add rows in a specific data set in group. Okay, so I have selected the same. Clicking on connect, then clicking on add a new connection, and click on this button directly. And then you will have to provide the access of your Microsoft Power BI account. Okay, because I am already logged in, so it is asking me for the permission. Basically, I have selected the account firstly, and then I am providing the permission. And this is how my Microsoft Power BI account will be also connected with the Pabli Connect immediately. So here you can notice the authorization is successful and it is connected. All right. So because we are connected here, you can notice whatever the group ID and the data set ID are already available inside my Microsoft Power BI account have started visible here in the drop down. Okay. So as a group ID, I'll go with this Pabli testing. Okay. So this is the dashboard of Power BI, and here you can notice I have this workspace as Pabli testing. Okay. So I have selected the same. Now it will ask you to select the data set ID. Okay. Okay, so now I'll show you how you can create a new data set. Okay, so you will have to click on the streaming data set firstly, and with the help of this API, we are going to create a new data set ID. Okay, clicking on next, and now it will ask you to provide the name. So let me provide the random name, something like Big Commerce, and further it will ask you the values from stream. Okay, so let's say I want to add the customer name, so I will be adding. Adding customer name value here. Okay, I can also change the C as capital, and of course, it is going to be text. Further, I am going to add the customer emails. So basically, whatever the values I want to add in my Microsoft Power BI report, I am going to create those values from here. Okay, asking for other another value. So how about I add the value as phone number? Further, I am going to add the product price. Okay, so in this way whatever the information you want to add in your microsoft power bi report you can add those values here lastly how about i also add the city of the customer okay now i will click on basically firstly i will enable this historic data analysis and then i will click on this create button and this is how a new data set will be created okay so clicking on done and in the last you will find the same data okay Okay, well, it is not visible at the last. Here we have this big commerce data set ID. Okay, coming back to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Firstly, I will click on this refresh to fetch new items button, and then I will show you the same data set ID. Okay, so give me a second. All right, so it is refreshed. Let us search for the big commerce, and here you can find the same data set ID which I have selected. Further, it will ask you to select the table name. So I will once again take you back to the dashboard of Power BI. Now click on this three dot, and here you will find the option of create report. So I have clicked on that, and from the right hand side you will find the table name. Okay. So firstly, I am clicking on this arrow button, and here. Or you can find the same values which we have just added at the time of creating the data set ID. Okay, so how about I want to add the customer email data in my report? So I have selected the same. Then I will select the customer name, the customer phone number, the city, and the product price. Okay, so in this way you can select the values, and I think the values are not visible to you. So how about I enable this focus? Mode so that you can see the data very clearly. Okay, so here I have the customer email, customer name, customer phone number, city, and the product price. Okay, so again I am telling you currently I just want to add these basic details to my report. So I have added only five details. Now again it is completely up to you that what values you want to add to your report from your big commerce data. Okay, so you can actually check the response of your Power BI. I'm so. Sorry, you can check the response of your Big Commerce application. 
and further you can add those values to your report okay basically whatever the values you have okay just in case if you want to fetch more information you can select the action event of your choice and fetch that information okay so coming back here and now i will select the table name well here you can notice the table name is already selected now it is asking the table specific row objects to add basically this is the most interesting part so basically from here exactly we are going to add the order details to our report okay so firstly you should copy this syntax okay paste it here and let's say we want to add the customer email so here we will add that value and further we will add the email address of the customer okay so how we can do that basically firstly i'm going to check in what particular manner i have this value okay so i have this customer email okay so let me change the same that is customer email okay and in place of this sample email address i am going to provide the email address of the person who has just placed an order with us okay and the interesting thing here again is i am going to map this value from this particular particular step okay so how about i directly search for the email address all right so i have mapped the email address now you must be thinking what is this mapping so whatever the details i am mapping here will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time but whatever the details you will select here manually will remain same okay so let us provide the other values like the customer name okay so coming back and let me add the same in place of price i will be adding this customer name value and after that after this colon i will map the name of the customer again from the drop down okay make sure that you provide the data in the exact format okay so let us search for the name of the person which was demo basically the first name was demo now i will give a space and will search for the last name which was user okay further in place of date i will add the third value which is customer phone number okay so how about i directly copy this value and in place of this section i will add the phone number okay so give me a second and again in place of this particular date i am going to map the customer phone number which was something like 93333 okay so again i am mapping the phone number and there are two values left like the city and and the product price okay so in the same way i am going to provide other details okay so how about i once again copy this particular syntax all right and after this inverted comma firstly i will add a comma a normal comma and will paste this value and here i will add the value as city okay and in place of this dummy email address again i am going to map the city which was bhopal and the last value is actually the product price i guess yes we have the product price value okay so the comma is already added let me paste the syntax in place of email i will add product price okay give me a second okay let us check whether i have added the exact value or not and further in place of email address again i am going to map the price which was 7500 rupees okay so i have added the same okay so i think i have added all the details and make sure that you also remove this last column okay now i will be clicking on this button save and send this request and will wait for the response and i am really expecting that the data the order data will be added to my report automatically okay so here it is giving me an error so give me a second let me cross check this syntax whether i have added all the values correctly or not and then i will come back okay so first of all i am going to remove this extra space all right so one inverted comma was missing after this customer name basically this inverted comma and this initial inverted comma okay so i have just added the same and have clicked on this button once again and here you can notice the response is received going back to the dashboard of power bi and let me cross check it once again and here you can notice the same customer name the same customer phone number the product price the city and the customer email 
all the order related data has been added to my Microsoft Power BI report automatically. Okay, so in this way, with the help of this automation software, Pabli Connect, you can automate the process of adding the order related data to your report that too automatically. And to automate this process, you need to create this workflow inside Pabli Connect just once. After that, you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this three step workflow inside your Pabli Connect account I will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video